Hi guys, hope everyone's well. Um, today we have a great, quick, fun activity or a game. Technically it can be a science experiment as well because basically everything we do is uh, has to do with science. So I'll show you how to make the game and I'll explain the science as we go along. Today we will need the scissors, a plastic bag, I think the ones that don't have the little uh, handles on them work better because we're just going to have to cut a straight line here. But if you only have the ones with the handle, sure cut that and see what happens. And the last thing we need today is a balloon. Oh no, not the last thing. We need one more thing. <laughs> we need a cotton towel or this is just a face cloth but something that is 100% cotton so we can charge everything up properly with some static electricity now i will do another a full experiment on static electricity uh, another time so this is just a little quick one to show you how cool it is um so the first thing i'm going to put my balloon and towel oh over there don't fall okay it's gonna fall okay so what we do this is the bottom of our bag so we're going to turn this around and we are going to cut the top maybe a couple of inches down and mommy and daddy will do this bit because we have to be very very careful when we're using scissors especially when we're using scissors with things that aren't paper because they tend to cut differently so if we don't know how something is going to cut we don't know if it's going to be easy or hard so we might get a bit frustrated or use the scissors in a way that we wouldn't normally use them to try and get them to cut so we're just going to get mommy or daddy to cut these i'm going to cut two just just because see what happens it's always good to have a backup so we'll put our bag over here we can use it again and we will open it if we are able to there we go oh okay well that was bigger than i thought it was going to be so we have our open plastic bag top and i'm going to open this one as well so this experiment or this game is kind of like magic so we are going to try to float our plastic bag ring over our balloon so we'll try that first and then we'll see if it works or not and then we can try a little trick and try it again and then see if it works. So we have our balloon, we have our plastic thing, so I'll throw it up in the air and okay so it's landed on the balloon and that is kind of what we would expect to happen. So we will do our little magic trick, try this simple little thing again and see what happens. So. We will get our cotton towel and rub it all over our balloon. Hope nobody minds the squeaky noise. <laughs> so give that a nice rub. Hopefully that stays there. Rub. And then we're going to get our plastic and I'm just rubbing the towel all over the plastic, turning it around so it's all covered and rubbed. And then we're going to try this again. Ah. So we have our balloon, we have our plastic. What do we think is going to happen? Throw it in the air. Oh, <laughs> no, it wasn't supposed to stick to it. Hold on. Something different is supposed to happen. Hold on. What if I... Oh. Rub the top of it. And then... It just sticks right to it. It's not supposed to happen. Oh. 
<laughs> throw that up and oh can we see the balloon <laughs> is keeping the plastic ring up in the air oh kind of like magic okay i'll move back a bit so you can see it a bit better can we see ah <laughs> try again Now, I will, whenever the effect wears off, or the scientific word we're going to use for this is static electricity, whenever the static electricity wears off, we can just rub our balloon, rub our piece of plastic again, and, oh, <laughs> how did that happen? Stuck to the wall. This is a cool... <laughs> What is happening? This is such a silly little plastic ring. <laughs> so we're just going to keep charging it up with our static electricity and see what happens. So static electricity is a kind of electricity that can make your hair stand up on edge you know if you get out of the shower or if you clean your if you clean your hair with a certain type of towel it can make your hair stand up on edge oh that's gone through it now i might use the second piece of plastic So we do another experiment on static electricity, but basically it makes things kind of stand away from each other or repel each other is another name used for it. So the science behind it is whenever you rub things, whenever you rub a certain oof cut in my face. Whenever you rub a certain type of cloth or a certain type of material on another material, specific type of material, it turns it into kind of an opposite magnet. Yeah, we'll say an opposite magnet for the time being. And instead of being oh, attracted to something, it pushes it away it repels it and sometimes it makes it stick to other things. Ooh. <laughs> like my face or the wall. <laughs> so it's kind of like a game. You try and see how long Ooh, you can keep the plastic bag up in the air. And if you are lucky enough to be able to find different color plastic bags in the shopping, you can have a few of them. Or you could maybe cut out a butterfly shape or do little flower shapes and see if they float in the air. And you can do smaller bags so they won't go around your head fully but we'll make sure to cut them nice and thin <laughs> so if we need to pull them really fast or if we need to break them or if they go around our heads and we need to pull them off quickly that we can so we try to make it as safe as we can because this game ooh, is really cool <laughs> well there you go Ow. <laughs> careful not to hit your head ooh. I hope you guys have fun playing this game. I kind of feel like a bit of a witch or a wizard with this because sometimes it sticks to my hand oh, or sometimes it sticks to my face. You don't know and that's why it's so much fun every time. Oh, you try. <laughs> so have fun with this game at home and see how long you can keep the plastic bag Ooh, up. And maybe you can play a game, you can time yourself. 
maybe you can play in a bit of a more open space and not in a chair so you'll have more room to move around and maybe if you play outside it might be a bit windy or the wind might blow it away but you're have a go anyway because if you don't do it then you won't know oh <laughs> okay uh hope you have fun with this one and i'll see you in the next video bye